Hi there dudes, I will design an electric socket for this 6 electric furnace meter and make it fully automated with very cheap and easy way. And here is how it works now. If there is an ore in the box, the system starts smelting it. If the box runs out of ore, it shuts down automatically. You will need two separate electric lines, one for furnaces and one for conveyors. I have already connected furnaces with three splitters to power them, to make video shorter and do not waste new time dudes. Let's start with conveyor line. There is a branch and in branch out place three power mount, connect it to the switch and switch goes to the first conveyor power input, via the second conveyor with its path through. The power out of the branch should goes to the red button and then it goes to the splitter. Connect splitters out to the conveyor's turn on connectors. Manage filter of output conveyor with OR only and connect filter pass to the green lamp. And it's done. There is also a branch in the furnace line. Connect its branch out with red button, power mount should be 2, and then connect it with ignifier. Power out branch in blockator's power in. Then it should go to switch and then it should be connected to the main power splitter for furnaces. Well, perfect, furnaces are working. Come back to output conveyor and wire filter fail with blockaders path through. And here we go. Put some ore in the box and the green lamp signals you that it starts melting. When it runs out of ore, system will automatically shut down. To melt it again, just drop some ore into the box. Nice. What you can do else is to make an emergency shutdown button. Just connect free power out of the main power splitter with red button which is connected to extra splitters. They are wired with furnaces in turn off connectors. To start melting manually, just push the ignifier button. You can also use default serine lamp or flashing lamp in case you haven't got green one. And here is all the components which you need. Green lamp can be replaced with one of these lamps and you will need extra three splitters and red button to make an emergency shutdown system. Well, thanks for watching dudes, I hope this video will be helpful. Take care and see you next time. He is out.